The ideas expressed in the following presentations are those of the speakers and do not necessarily reflect the views of ACI or its committees. ACI web sessions are recorded at ACI conventions or other concrete industry events and will be made available for viewing free of charge for one week. Thereafter, they will be archived on the ACI website or added to ACI's online CEU program depending on their content. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our session on new innovations in chemical admixtures. My name is Carrie Ewers. I'm the chair of Committee 212, which is chemical admixtures. And uh, I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm also the president and CEO of Crichton International, Inc., that uh, headquartered uh, in Vancouver. We make uh, specialty admixtures for durability. And I'm Pleased to welcome you here today. We have a great lineup of speakers to talk about uh, new innovations and uh, new advancements in admixtures. And uh, I think that uh, this is a topic that's very popular with people. Concrete, of course, is the main building material worldwide. And for us to maintain its position as a main building material, we need to make sure that we are innovating new ways to help users uh, use concrete in uh, effective ways to build structures that are, are taller, more durable, more sustainable, and to ensure that we can do the things that we need to do to build uh, faster and to ensure that structures are going to last the test of time. Admixtures play a cr critical role in this, uh, more today than ever. Uh, there probably isn't too much concrete being poured around the world that doesn't use chemical admixtures in some way, shape, or form. And certainly innovation is taking over with regard to helping us do things that we haven't been able to do uh, before in concrete construction. So this is an exciting time for, for concrete, and it's an exciting time for innovation. And I think that you're going to uh, like some of the, the things happening in our, our world today. As you can see from the program, we have uh, these papers that were chosen out of a call for paper, papers, and these speakers have worked very hard to put together some presentations for you today. Some of the other topics that we uh, had submitted that uh, you potentially will see in future sessions or I interesting work that you should be aware is going on is on uh, areas such as uh, uh, shrinkage reducing, compensating admixtures, different types of uh, derivatives uh, of admixtures from different materials, retarding admixtures, admixtures for ASR, and many, many others. We have a wide range of information that you can uh, source that has uh, technical information on these as well as user information. And so uh, the documents put out by the Committee 212, Chemical Admixtures, is the <coughs> recently published uh, report on chemical admixtures 212.3R-16. And as well, for introductory and overview of admixtures, uh, the Educational Committee, E701, has an E4 document on chemical admixtures, which covers nicely the different types and, and uses of admixtures. But for more technical information, you want to go to 212, uh, the 212 document. Uh, this, this photo I used is actually, uh, some of you would recognize it as the Marina Bay Sands from Singapore. It's uh, actually, all that was water not that long ago, and they reclaimed the land in the, in the late 2000s to uh, build up a landmass and then dug deep into that landmass, into the water table, to build uh, a very big uh, complex, a Marina Bay Sands uh, uh, casino complex. So there's malls and casinos all underground there with these three towers and the, of course the, three, the sky park that runs right across with an infinity pool that uh, spans about three football fields long. Uh, a wide range of, of admixtures from the conventional admixtures to specialty admixtures was used in the overall construction of this project which was about uh, six billion dollars uh, to construct and finished in, a, in about 2000 and and 10, 2009, 2010. It's an amazing structure. I actually went and stayed there. It was fabulous. <laughs> Highly recommend it. So some of the other educational materials is CEUs. The, out of the new 212 document, we 
Uh, we have put together uh, continuing education unit uh, materials, uh, and, uh, and that comes from the updated Chapter 13 of Corrosion Inhibiting Admixtures, Chapter uh, 11, Viscosity and Rheology Modifying Admixtures, which is a brand new chapter to the, uh, to the guide, Shrinkage uh, Reducing and Shrinkage Compensating Admixtures, which is Chapter 12, and Chapter 15, Permeability Reducing Admixtures. Uh, so you can go there to take uh, questions and, and get your uh, CEUs. There's also a new webinar that was actually put together by uh, my co-moderator, Terry Harris, and uh, it's on viscosity and rheology modifying admixtures, and uh, it's, it's a great uh, tool as well. So the report that we put together uh, on admixtures is... Uh, it's about 80 pages long, but it covers uh, a wide range of the types of admixtures as well as the types of uses. So applications, where to use the admixtures, how to use them effectively, cautions and tips on how to determine which admixture is the best one for you to use. The uh, uh, last version has a, a chart uh, at the beginning that also uh, lists all of the types of admixtures along the top and then uh, uh, multiple categories. Uh, this is just a, a screenshot of the top of the page, but it actually goes down into uh, all the different types of uh, requirements and uh, different properties that you can attain using admixtures, and then it, it, it guides you as to primary and maybe secondary uses for these so that it, you can quickly ascertain which admixtures are gonna give you some, some of the different properties that you need and some of the uh, different areas that you're interested in, including sustainability, recycl uh, recycling of, of concrete, and, and a lot of new areas that uh, uh, help you determine uh, where to go quickly. In the back of the guide, we also have a, a guide to also cross-reference and make it easy for you to find what you need. And then there's another chart that just summarizes the admixtures with very brief descriptions and, and their primary use. So again, we're trying to make it really simple for you to be able to navigate this, this growing area of admixtures and to be able to tr tell the differences between the different admixture uh, types. And of course, our committee is working on new content all the time, and so these are some of the, the new content areas that potentially will be new t chapters or content in the, in the document under uh, different areas. And, and so if you're interested in any of these areas and would like to contribute to that, please come to our 212 committee or contact me uh, directly, either after this meeting or by email. Uh, we'd be happy to have you involved in the creation and, and content of this. And so people say, 3D printing, what's with that? But there is a, a, a lot of advancement that's needed to use cementitious materials into 3D printing. It's being used now, and we need different properties, and so we want to help people understand some of these areas. And, and you can see the other ones, including uh, uh, new uh, uh, admixtures, such as uh, admixtures for hardening and erosion control. And I'm proud to announce that after uh, a lot of time and uh, a, a lot of effort, our committee uh, put together a new definition for chemical admixtures. And this replaces the old definition, which was largely just describing what admixtures are not. And that's not really a great definition. And so I'm proud to say that the chemical admixture definition, a liquid or dispersible powder used as an ingredient in a cementitious mixture to improve its economy and or properties in the plastic and or hardened state. And so you'll find that under admixture, chemical admixture, and as well, admixture will refer you to chemical admixture for that definition. And then finally, this uh, document is for sale in the bookstore. It's, uh, it's a great value at about, I think, $83 uh, per issue. But here's the really great news. ACI has recently revamped their uh, member benefits. And so, uh, in fact, you can uh, download this document uh, and 200 others using tokens as part of your membership. So th there's no reason to not have access to this great information. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Terry to introduce the new next uh, speaker.